this lecture this. I would have thought it. But there are some people in this. I didn't even know you was here. <laughs> There's people in here that I would like to say thank you to. And it starts with Harminda. Where are you? Here. Where? <laughs> you are hiding. Where are you? It starts with Harminda. She was my solicitor in the first contact. And uh, we couldn't get a case. I'm afraid I'm one of those that wash your husband's clothes. And it was after 1964, and so we couldn't claim. All right, I worked at other places, but we couldn't prove nothing. So thank you, Harmonda, for all you tried. And because you are a miso warrior, my girl. Because her dad. <laughs> And then I did my first talk with you, and we enjoyed ourselves together, didn't we? Thank you so much for your time. And then we meet Peter, which, well, I think we've said enough, don't you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> your wife has stolen enough, so we adore him. We really do adore him because he's so dedicated to me, so Thuliana. Dedicated to the patients, and we're dedicated to you, and that's why I'm doing my. <laughs> and Chris Ward, and where are you, uh, Paul? Oh, Paul, where are you? IATP. I mess up with IATP. Where's he going on? <laughs> <laughs> And so, um, well, we met up with IATP, and I had my first award from IATP. And uh, we, he's always been there. We meet up in shopping centres, and I don't know where. He's, he, phones, he picks up the phone and says, meet me, and we meet. And we met just recently at a caravan site. <laughs> <laughs> so I get around. <laughs> and so it goes on and on. But I end up with Miso Warriors my darling, darling, be so warriors. And we've sat up many a night, and I sit with them as the, as the patients, they die, and I, and, but I help them through it. And, you know, oh, yeah. and I can't understand how within sort of hours someone dying, the, the carer is on the phone to me, or they're messaging me. They think of me at that point, and even the people that are dying talk to me an hour or two before they die. It's really hard, but I just get through it. And I'm trying, I'm not even done. You know, I, I just cannot thank Merck enough. I did, you're, you know, and I hope you benefiting from my success. I want you all to benefit from it. You're all so brilliant. And we met up so many times, a couple of times there, we talked about drugs and and then we meet up with the industry and I'm trying to help these lads, you know, I want them all safe. And you trainers, you have to keep them safe, so keep them safe. And don't this try and, you know, and the lawyers, I think, oh, it's everybody. Everybody has been with me on this journey. Everybody in this room has played a part. And I can't thank you enough. And that's all I'm going to say. Oh, then I can. Uh, and then I come. I've got to say it. Well, I know you. <laughs> We've said it thanks to you. But I'm done pausing it up. <laughs> but we come to a lad here that has given me every my son, always behind me. Always buying me wonderful presents that last year he said, Mum, you've survived. So can you now can we now make it cheap this year? <laughs> <laughs> and Ray, well, you need carers behind you. That's the only you you just need the carers. And they're so wonderful and look after you. And then we come to you. And you, this this comedy act. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll stop it.
Oh, you might want to carry oh. on a bit. Oh, right, well, just, uh, <laughs> thank you, so, thank you so, so much <laughs> and for being behind me, and I'm always going to be behind you. Okay. <laughs> You are a wonderful man. Yeah. Really. Yeah.